Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and in today's video what I wanted to do really quick was to do kind of a February flip through and show you how my spreads looked and how I use my planner through the month of February. So let's start with the month view. The month view I don't use a ton. The month view mainly for me is holidays and date and time specific events. I'll put in my marketing newsletters that I send out for my training studio, um, if I have appointments like physical therapy, because those are not always the same day every week, and if I have some kind of event, um, date, breakfast, I have a community breakfast at my gym I had this this week. So anything that's like out of the ordinary appointment-based thing that I need to check, I use that for the month. That's pretty much what I use my monthly for. Okay, so let's flip on over. Guilty as charged, I don't use the mission board. I did when I first started using Inkwell a couple years ago, but I haven't really been using that, and I don't use this section of the planner either. All right, dun 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 dun, week one of February. So title pool is February, and I love this color. This actually looks like mass chaos now that I'm looking at it. But in February, I was using the format that I'm still using where I have the section up here designated for time-specific appointments, about four or five lines there, and then the bulk of my column is used for to-dos, and then down here is going to be my personal stuff. So you'll see I use this structure every single week, basically. I'll use the sidebar, the notes section, for kind of like weekly to-dos, notes, things that I need to do next week, stuff like that. Um... So basically, I use a plethora of functional stickers. Up here, I use different um, kind of label-based stickers for appointments. And then down here, I used a lot of the small check boxes this month to designate different to-dos. I'll use the envelope sticker when I have like you know emails that I want to send. I like to use the half boxes, full boxes, quarter boxes like this to kind of designate a chunk of time for a bigger project that's going to take more time that day. Um, more icon-based stickers for specific kind of tasks, like this was for newsletters, so it had to do with writing. Um, here we have another email one down here. Um, film video, that was for the uh, my studio. And then some of this stuff was d put on here just for, like, when we take pictures, like the macro sticker. I don't usually use this, but this, you know, just to show you it fits here. Um, same thing with Instapot and the weekly vegetable servings. I don't personally use these stickers, but this is kind of where if I was going to use them, where I'd put them. Down here again, as you guys know, if you've watched my plan with me, this is where I put personal stuff. Grover's Day, meal planning, um, different things have to do with personal and home, doctor's appointments, stuff like that. That all goes down here. So we had the dark teal and the bright green for the first week, and I love these colors. They just make me happy. Okay, so then we got week two. Looks like it was a little bit lighter of a week. Um, same layout, so I used a little bit less space here but same concept, putting in my appointments and things like that, um, any calls I have, things that are time-based. Again, using a lot of the small check boxes to do my to-dos, the envelopes for my emails, if I have a list of emails I have to get done. And then again, down here, you'll see different personal-based things. I used the double arrows. I always use these icons with text. Um, I love our new weekend bubble header. It just makes it all cohesive. So I use the lime green and the like more grayish blue, I guess I would say, or the kind of dustier blue. So that was week two. Okay, this week looks kind of like blah. This was week three. Is that this week? No, it was last week. So last week used more of the pastels. Um, I was, and with this one, so obviously you can see here I ended up having to move this to-do sticker down because I ended up with a few more appointments on Monday. Um, one appointment Tuesday, and then you can see I don't have a lot of appointments. That's why I don't break this in half and kind of do that. I just keep a little section. Um, and again, using different icons to designate different things. Um, Thursday usually looks pretty bare because that's my day off. And then I didn't do anything with the weekend over here. We have our new dinner out sticker, the coffee date, play date. I don't have kids, but that's the new sticker. So again, sometimes I use the planner just for pictures. So you'll see stuff in here that's not relevant to me. This week looks a little messy, so I don't know how I feel about this week. Now this was, this is this week, so it's we're in the midst of this. Um, I love this color, so I kind of went monochromatic again. Um, I like either monochromatic or only two colors. So you see that same thing, we got the chunked out appointment time here. 
down here is the to do's using these big sections for bigger projects like filling orders takes up a significant amount of time. I like to do this because then I know, okay, you can't fill this up with a million to do's if you have to get this thing that's going to take more time up. So this really helps me kind of like stop from doing too much. Um, and then just kept it real simple here with the check boxes. So that is pretty much how February looks. Um, use the same format all month, use bubble headers all month. Um, the small check boxes and did either two-tone or monochromatic kind of colors and that's what February looked like so I hope that's helpful guys to give you an idea of how to use your classic let me know if you do something similar if you have any questions about any of the stickers or if you have problems like figuring out how to lay out your planner I love helping people kind of go well you have this and this and this too let's try this layout so if you have questions about that let me know it's one of my favorite things. One of my clients calls it planner rescues. Um, so anyways, hope that was helpful. Just give you an idea of how I plan and how I use our stickers. Um, again, comment below if you have any questions. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.